Various organizations in Reno, Nevada, collect data to help the unhoused population and provide services to them. Eddie House is a nonprofit that serves the unhoused and at risk youth age 18 to 24 across a variety of programs. CEO Trevor Macaluso explains how data curation helps in the process. So, when a new individual comes into our, our care, uh, they fill out a bunch of paperwork about their own information and a case manager or one of the people on our intake team fills out that information alongside them and that's how we collect all of the data. And then our staff inputs it into Apricot. Our quality assurance uh, and compliance manager is able to pull that data from Apricot and then turn it into you know, a visible statistic graph that we can all you know, see. So uh, whether it's the number of new clients we see over the course of a month, we can track that. Uh, whether it's the number of bed nights that are you know, used in a month, but also how many unique clients we, we see in a month. Because we track the data of every single person who comes in the building, uh, we definitely don't undercount the number of individuals served. Is it possible that somebody's meal service wasn't logged correctly? Sure, but it's not an undercount of an individual who's homeless. We use that data um, for grant purposes. We have, we have a lot of grants that we work on. Um, with, that requires certain demographic information we receive because of the population that we serve. Uh, we also use it to report to other you know, private and corporate foundations uh, about the kind of population that we serve. Um, and then we're also able to use it for our annual report to share with the community and, and other uh, interested partners uh, about how many clients we have throughout the year, how many beds you know, are full and not full here, uh, and how many people are successfully moving through our program.